Welcome, everybody. This is For the Love of Money, where we are making you unapologetic about your pursuit of success by sharing the tools, tips, and stories of those who have already made it. My name is Chris Harder, and each week I will bring you incredible guests in order to prove that when good people make good money, they do great things. Welcome back, everybody, to another amazing episode of For the Love of Money, mini episodes that I like to call My Two Cents. And today, we're going to talk about one of these secret of success hacks that I have really been concentrating on getting better at in the past couple of years. And you know what? Exercising this muscle has paid huge dividends. So what is the secret of success hack that I'm talking about? It's the ability to connect more people. Now, I've got to tell you one person who really has inspired me to get better at this by leading by example is my buddy Lewis Howes. Now, Lewis is the ultimate connector. I mean, everywhere he goes, he's thinking, who could I connect this person with? Who has something that this person needs? How could I help these two people collaborate? And as I saw this in action, And as I asked him about it once, I realized this really is one of those hacks that can literally be the secret to success for you. You see, we all know that success is all about giving as much as you can possibly give. And what better to give than the gift of connection between two people that need each other, two people that have big audacious goals and can help accelerate each other's path to these goals. So by observing a few people who are really good at doing this, and by the way, when you start watching for this, you realize these people that are good at this are everywhere. Well, I decided that I wanted to be good at it too. And so over the past couple of years, I've become a much better listener when I meet somebody. And one of the best ways to become a much better listener is to not be worried about what you're going to say back when they're done talking, but instead to be present and to tune in. And do you know what I'm listening for? I'm listening for any goals that they have, anything that they want to accomplish, anything that they are really passionate about. And then I'm making a mental note of what this person wants to accomplish, what they're trying to do, what they might need, who might be a great fit for for them. I'm making a mental note and I'm sticking it in the back of my head so that when I meet somebody who would be a great fit for them, I connect them. Now, a lot of times people will pop up in my head right away. Now that I'm looking for it, now that I'm listening to it and I'll say, Oh, you know what? You need to beat my buddy. So-and-so he has the best Facebook agency ever. And I know he can help you out or, Oh, you've got to meet this woman. She's remarkable. She's one of the greatest monetizers of your message I have ever met. Or you need to meet this person. You need to meet that person. And you start to develop this arsenal of people with needs and this arsenal of people with skill sets and solutions. And every time that I connect these people, I feel like I have a little hand in their magic. But you know what really happens? They run off, they collaborate, they become equally successful, you know, because they're helping each other. And that collaboration turns around and typically pays me back somewhere way down the road. Now, I want to be crystal clear. You don't do this just to get paid back down the road. But one of the exciting things about doing this is that you do get paid back down the road because the more people you can help with their dreams, the more they're going to help with yours. And one of the biggest hurdles that people have, and I know you can identify with this, is finding your tribe. The biggest hurdle we have is finding those right people to accelerate your journey, finding those right people to give you that shortcut, finding those people to show you, oh, you want to raise capital? I know how to do that. Here, I'll sit down and I'll help you with your deck. Finding your people is the hardest part of business. I'm sure you agree. Finding your people is the hardest part of of business. You think you find them and then they don't turn out. You think you find them and then they disappear. You think you find them and they turn out to not be the right mix in your tribe. And so when you can make a conscious note in your head that you're going to connect person A to person B and a little bit of magic starts to happen for each one of those people, then of course they can't help but be grateful to you and keep you in mind 
and want to come back and help you thrive in your business. And it turns into this beautiful, self-fulfilling prophecy of success. It turns into this beautiful circle of success where they are helping each other and in return, they are helping you. And before you know it, everybody in your tribe is thriving. Everybody in your tribe is literally performing at a higher level than if you had not connected them, including you yourself. And so make it an intention to ask people what they're up to. I mean, we're coming up on 2018. Make it your goal to become the ultimate connector this year. I have gotten to the point now where I get so much satisfaction out of connecting the right kind of people with the right kind of people. I have, I'm getting so into the idea of these little wins that are happening because of the people I'm connecting that it starts to become an addiction. Make it your addiction for 2018. If you're already doing this, congrats. If you've been dipping your toes into it, dive in. If you have never done this, learn to make it a strength because becoming an ultimate connector really is one of those hacks that quickly turns around, pays you back, and becomes a major secret of success for you. And when everybody in your tribe starts thriving and you start thriving as a side effect, you know what happens. When good people make good money, they do great things. Thanks for listening. And if you loved this episode and know of someone else who is as successful as they are generous, please pass them on to me. It would mean the world to me if you help me get this cause and this message out to as many listeners as I can. So please, if you liked what you heard, it goes a long way if you take 30 seconds and leave me a five-star review and share this with your friends. I'll be forever grateful. And until the next episode, cheers to your success.